Life without real rest, it can become dull, demented, and distasteful. Dull, demented, and distasteful. I've built many startups, most of them have failed. And so Bitcoin is exactly the place that I like to be. We're gonna end it right there. Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed? Are you tired of not having enough energy to engage in the day's activities? Are you tired of not being able to have enough energy to engage with your friends, family, colleagues? You see, sometimes the best encouragement that I could ever give you guys is simply because life is kicking my ass. <laughs> What, we, what I want to talk to you guys about today is forced rest or forced margin. Have you ever had someone have, uh, have you ever been forced to chill the fuck out? <laughs> have you ever been forced to chill the fuck out? I mean, sometimes we have to be forced to rest. Now, as you guys can probably imagine, this is something that I struggle with extremely extremely. And this is something that is so an the antithetical, the antithesis of my being. The rest is something that unfortunately, because of my behavior patterns and because of my history, I am always forced to rest. I am always forced to chill the fuck out. You see, I started this podcast here with the question of, are you tired of feeling overwhelmed? Are you tired of not having enough energy to engage in the day's activities? Are you tired of not having enough energy to engage with your friends and family and these types of things? See, this is something that I don't struggle with. I always have energy. I'm, I'm, I'm never feel overwhelmed. The, the world is overwhelming all the time, actually. I could, maybe that's the level that I live at. But I always have enough energy to meet. I always have enough energy to talk and to engage and to encourage and inspire. So for me, forced rest has always been something outside of me forcing me to chill the fuck out and remind me, and here's the, 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 the thing that's important here, and remind me of the value of rest. You see, being forced to rest, being forced to chill the fuck out, is, comes in many forms. In the beginning of life, it started with our parents. They forced us in timeout. They put us in place of forced rest. I remember getting, going into timeout. I fucking hated it. I had nothing to do. There was no toys in my room. I was stuck. After that, and I grew, I grew up a little bit, those who forced me to rest were teachers, right? Timeout, right? Detention, forced rest. Maybe soccer coaches telling me to chill the fuck out. Why are you trying to go keep going for the knees? Why don't you play like a regular human, Peter? Why you always got to be trying to crush everybody? Um, <laughs> guys, when I was a soccer player, here's a small anecdote. When I was a soccer player in uh, middle school and high school, guys, I had absolutely no qualms, no issues with taking your knees out. It, it was just, there, I was just, I was a savage, guys, on the, on, on the, uh, on the field. Anyway, in the future, as, as things grew, as, as you grow up, right, it could be a boss or an authority figure that makes you chill the fuck out. If you're lucky, you might even have had a mentor tell you to chill the fuck out. Now, for me, parents, teachers, bosses, authority figures, mentors, these are not individuals that have usually told me to chill the fuck out, wait my turn, and put me into forced rest. You want to know what forces me to rest, guys? It's health. It's health. It's always health for me. Now, you might look at me and say, well, Peter, gum, you look like a pretty healthy guy. Mm, I would agree with you, but there's lots of different, there's lots. There's three different aspects to health, right? There's physical, there's emotional, and there is spiritual. You see, for me, what forces me to generally have to rest is because of physical issues. I, I, I have physiological issues from the amount of, of, of stress that I take on from all the things that I'm doing, all the things I want to do, all the people I want to meet, all the things that I want to give to the world, all the things that I want to build. For me, it always culminates to this 
feeling of my body shutting down. My body shutting down. Now for you guys, for you guys, that you might have experienced that. For some of you guys, forced rest can come in other forms, more than just physical health or mental health or spiritual health. It can be, you can have forced rest from life events. You could have been fired. Shit changed. Life changed. Maybe you made some really poor decisions which forced you out of the workforce or forced you into a period of purgatory, forced you into a period where you were in limbo, right? Sometimes this comes in relationships, poor relationships, bad relationships. Ever have any of those? I'm waving my hand. I certainly have. Whenever you come out of a bad relationship, it in many ways is kind of a forced rest. You just got over this bad breakup, this bad relationship, and you are back at square one. But for me, it's always health. It's always been health. And that's why if you go back into my other uh, videos and podcasts, you can check out my, my video on the sauna and, 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 and the value of fasting. Right? For me, it's always health. Or it's always health. It's always health. It's, al it's always the thing that just crushes me. It just hits me like a train and suddenly I'm just dead. I'm just dead. I'm just dead. I just wake up and I'm like, uh, I don't think I could do anything. I, I like, can't even move. This is, not, <laughs> this is not something that you want to replicate, my friends. This is not something that you, wanna, that you ever really want to experience. I have been paralyzed in my bed from total disconnection to any type of energy source, if that makes any sense. Like, I wake up and there's no energy source. There's no battery, there's no plug-in, there's no, there's no universe giving me energy. It's just like, I'm laying there and I'm, and I'm dead. And I'm dead. These are the moments in which I hit the wall and unfortunately, it generally takes me multiple days, two, three, four, sometimes five days to get over it. I go to the sauna all of those days. I burn it with fire. I am forced to rest. It's terrible. It's crazy. It drives me insane. What's so crazy is, is that I've done this so many times before. A brother should have learned by now. You see, here's the thing. A life without real rest, a life without real rest, if you're taking notes, if you're listening right now, life without real rest, it can become dull, demented, and distasteful. Dull, demented, and distasteful. I will tell you many times, life has become dull. It's become demented. It's become distasteful. And the reason is, is because I simply do not appreciate the things of life because I'm working so hard. I'm never resting. The whole idea of uh, stopping to smell the roses, right? Smell the flowers, smell the roses. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You know, as much as, as, much as I always want to go, 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 Part of the problem with that is when you go, 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 you be, life becomes dull, demented, and distasteful. And the body, well, the body thinks it can go. The spirit wants, the, the body wants to go, but the spirit knows better, right? Your spirit knows better. You can fake it for a while. You can fake having energy for a while, but at the end, you are done. You are exhausted. The worst part is when you are exhausted and you, you are super tired and you are being forced to rest because of emotional or physical or spiritual health issues, you are at your most vulnerable. That's one of the worst parts. You are at your most vulnerable. You are weak. You are susceptible to illness. You're susceptible to sickness. You're susceptible to lean in here. I know you guys have experienced this. You are susceptible to poor decision making when you're ridiculously tired, when you're ridiculously exhausted, when you're overwhelmed with life, right? I mean, and when, and when you're when you're tired and and, and, and and your and your body is dying and you're exhausted, you make terrible decisions, you make emotional decisions, and you often end up getting even worse in sickness. And so I want to save us, and I wrote some notes down here, guys. I know I'm all over the place, but I, I wrote some notes down here, and I want to save ourselves from burnout and discomfort by choosing to rest rather than waiting for the rope to burn. And this is something, to be honest, this is, I'm preaching this to really myself 
because I'm currently going through, I think, day, I'm on day four. I'm on day four of some forced rest uh, because I have been slamming uh, myself against the wall and I'm done. My body gave up uh, four days ago. My body, now, do I still deliver content? Of course I do because a brother doesn't quit, but the rest of my day, guys, I am dead. I am dead and I need to get back into a rhythm of rest. And so I wrote down five tips, five ways to save ourselves from burnout and discomfort by choosing to rest rather than waiting for the rope to burn. Number one, consistent good night's sleep, consistent night's nighttime routine. Now for me, some, some, especially people who have worked with me, they know my nighttime routine starts at five o'clock. That's right. My nighttime routine starts at five o'clock and it doesn't end until about 830 or so. And the reason is, is because so much of my nighttime routine is with the kids. But after that nighttime routine of 830 with the kids, I move into my second nighttime routine, which is for myself and my wife. A consistent night's sleep, a consistent good night's sleep is so crucial. Now, I'm pretty daggone good at this. I generally go to bed every day at almost exactly the same time. What's great about having a consistent nighttime routine is it allows you to get consistent rest every bloody day. You know, when I was younger, let, let's be intellectually honest, guys. When I was younger, when you were younger, you thought it was cool to be up all night. You thought it was cool to party and do all sorts of shenanigans at night. Look, when you get older, you know, staying up is cool. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what's even cooler, guys? Getting a good night's rest. Getting a good night's rest, waking up early, and beginning to crush the day. I don't know what it is with, with, with naivete or youth, but in our youth, we thought it was cool to stay up. Mm. No, 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 no. Guys, you know what the, the coolest thing to do is? Wake up early. Get consistent rest. One of the things that I also pretty much believe in uh, and. It, one of the things that I, one of the things that I believe strongly in, one of the things that I believe strongly in is that not a whole lot of good happens at night. And so you might as well just rest at night and catch up on that margin, catch up on that energy. Number two, naps. I take naps. That's it. Number two is take a nap. Take a nap, try it, experiment on it. Take a nap during, do, oh my gosh. When I, was a, when I was a consultant, man, some of the best, some of the best resting periods were is during lunch. It's, it's, it's the best. You just, you just pound, and I know that's not good, but you pound down food in like 15, 20 minutes, and then the next 40, you just go to your car, pass the F out. Take naps. Naps are great. I'm huge in to naps, and I'm sure that you can go search on the internet for the value of napping. Number three, here's one way to save ourselves from burnout and discomfort. Number three, say no more. Say no more. Only say yes to those things that are absolutely necessary. You know, the most productive people accomplish more by doing less. I mean, that almost seems like a lesson that I should cover in its own right, but it's true. Highly, high, high performing people, high performing people accomplish more by doing less. They say no more than they say yes. So practice that skill. Practice the skill of saying no. You know what? I'm feeling a little empty here. Maybe I shouldn't take on that. Maybe I shouldn't engage with you. Maybe I don't need to do that event, right? Number four, solitude, meditations. Guys, I have an entire podcast on that, The Benefits of Solitude. Go check it out. But solitude, meditation, sitting and letting your body heal. This is what I do. This is what I do. I literally sit in solitude. I don't meditate a whole lot, but I generally just sit in solitude and let my mind go blank and feel my body, feel the energy coming back in, taking in the vitamin D if I'm sitting outside on my porch and just allowing myself to heal and to rest, forcing myself to sit there often, sometimes for hours. It's great. And number five, do not resist the rest you require. Don't resist it. Don't fight it. I'm, hey, I'm preaching to myself here, guys. I'm the best at fighting rest. I'm the best at saying, no, I don't, I don't really need that sleep. I, I can do this, right? Don't fight it. L life is additive. 
Life is additive. Sometimes we need to shed the bullshit. We need to shed the crap that we've accrued over the day, over the weeks, over the months. Don't resist the rest you require. When it's coming up, you know what? Do yourself some good. I know. I know a lot of this sounds like, whoa, bro. It's, it's hard to balance the whole thing of like, go hard, crush your dreams. You know, your life is short. You only got one life to live. You know, go all out. I get it. But I'm telling you, I am useless. You are useless when you are dead, when you have no energy, when you don't have the, when you're overwhelmed and you don't have the ability to do your best work, right? Ask any athlete, ask any athlete about the value of rest and they'll tell you. I bet they'll even have experiences and stories to tell you about games that they know they should have won, but they didn't because they didn't get enough rest and they were doing shenanigans the day before, right? Something like that. So let's round it out. Sometimes, guys, life forces us to rest. This is not something that is enjoyable. I hate it. I hate it when I'm overwhelmed and I, I don't have energy to do what I want to do. And I'm forced to chill the fuck out, often because of health, emotional, physical needs, right? Or life events. And so we can save ourselves. Five things real quick, guys. We can save ourselves from that burnout. Number one, get a consistent night's sleep. Create a nighttime routine that works. Number two, naps. Nap it up, guys. Number three, say no more. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do anything. Number four, find times for solitude, meditation, and sitting and allowing your body to heal. And number five, do not resist the rest that you require. So the question for you guys today is very simple. What rhythm, it's an interesting way of writing it down. I wrote it this way. What rhythm of rest do you need today? This is Peter, the Bitcoin Lambo. If you like this episode, subscribe, smash the Leslie like button, and share this with someone who might need to hear it before they get burned out. I'll pin the cool, coolest comment, guys. Peace.